Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I thought it would be a lot of fun to share my summer TBR list with all of you. In the past, I've definitely really enjoyed reading in the summertime, but I feel like I've never really stuck to a particular theme or genre of books before. So this year I really wanted to read some books that definitely romanticize the summertime and give off that summery beach read vibe. I managed to compile a list of 10 books that I think kind of match that feeling and I'm super excited to talk about all of them with you but before I forget I did want to let you guys know that I actually have a Goodreads account which I will link down in the description box below and on my Goodreads I actually created a shelf titled Summer TBR 2023 and it has all 10 books that I'm going to be mentioning and reading this summer so if you want to follow along with me and see all of my ratings for the books in real time feel free to click the link down below and follow my Goodreads but anyways I'm gonna head over to to Barnes and Noble really quick and pick up a couple more books and I will talk to you guys when I get back home. All of the books that I'm gonna try to get through in the next couple of months. This is obviously quite a big list. It actually started out quite a bit smaller but the more I was looking into summer books and reading their descriptions the more excited I get and the bigger the list grew. And a lot of the books that I picked out for myself are actually some that are pretty popular already that have been floating around on people's summer book recommendations but a couple of them are actually new releases which I am so excited to get into and I feel like I can read them along with everyone else so I'm gonna go ahead and go down the list of books in no particular order and I'm just going to share the plot summary with you guys as well as predicting what I think my rating for the book is going to be once I finish it so starting off the list I actually have two books written by Carly Fortune the first one that I got is called every summer after and this is actually a summer book that has been recommended time and time again it's pretty popular so I'm happy that I finally got my hands on it but this book is basically about a girl who grew up living in this lakeside town and throughout the years she ended up getting really close to this boy and they started out as really really good friends but over time that slowly started blooming into a relationship but at some point in time something really big and dramatic happened that ended up leading to this huge falling out and the main character ends up moving away from her hometown and into the big city to try and get away from it all but while she's out living in the city she actually receives a call which sends her back to her hometown and she ends up reconnecting with the same guy. She kind of has to face the mistakes that she made and the big event that happened all those years ago. I am not gonna lie though, I did actually accidentally read a spoiler when I was looking on the Goodreads page for Meet Me at the Lake, so... I think I kind of already know what the big thing is that happened so I'm a little bit bummed out about that but I'm still very very excited to read this because I love lakeside romances. Even though I know the spoiler I think I'm probably gonna end up rating this book either a four or five stars so I'm really hoping that it lives up to the hype and that I don't let the spoiler bring me down. But moving on to her next book which is actually a new release I'm going to be reading Meet Me at the Lake. So this one is about this girl who also spent a lot of time in a lakeside town she ends up meeting this boy there in her 20s and they spend a whole 24 hours together and kind of form this bond they make this pact that the next year they're both gonna meet up again in the same town and spend a whole day together again but the next year comes around and she shows up but he doesn't so for the next nine years she constantly is thinking about this guy and what happened and why he didn't show up so nine years later she's back in that town and she's running her mother's lakeside resort and lo and behold the guy decides to show up so since this is a newer release I feel like a lot of people have been reading it and also posting their reviews and 
I don't have super high expectations for this. I think my rating will probably end up being three stars just because that's what I've seen a lot of other people say. And I'm already kind of getting a little bit of the ick over the fact that they spent 24 hours together and all of a sudden she's obsessed with him. But from what I've heard, Carly Fortune is a really great author, so I'm very excited to add this to my list and eventually read it. Moving on from kind of the happy bubbly romance, the next book that I'm going to be reading is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is something that has been on my TBR list for forever. Not even just my summer TBR, but just something that I've been wanting to read in general. But I was watching other people's summer book recommendations and I saw this one pop up quite a few times because I think it's based in like a small beachy town. So I decided it was finally time to read it. But this one basically follows a main character who kind of grew up with a rough upbringing and how had a really traumatic last couple of years and she ends up moving to the small town in Maine to kind of try to get away from it all and restart her life and she ends up meeting this guy named Archer who I believe is deaf and she's one of the only people in the town who can actually communicate with him so over time she kind of forms this relationship and learns more about him and through their bond they kind of try to find a way to both heal from the stuff that they've dealt with in the past as well as move on and learn how to live. I definitely feel like this one is gonna make me really emotional and I feel like I'm gonna get really attached to the characters in this book so I am preparing myself for heartbreak I haven't really looked too much into this book just because I didn't want to spoil it for myself but I can't tell if it's gonna have a happy ending or a sad ending I do think that I'm going to give this book a solid four stars so I am very excited to read it especially since I've been putting it off for so so long and kind of keeping with the theme of possibly emotional books the next book I have is Heartbones by by Colleen Hoover. This one follows a main character who grew up with a life of poverty and neglect and at some point there is an unexpected death in her life and she ends up becoming homeless so she has no choice but to move in with her estranged father who is quite wealthy and living the opposite life of her out in Texas. So during the summertime while she is away from college she ends up moving in with him and kind of starts experiencing this life that she never did before. She ends up connecting with her next door neighbor who's this young good-looking broody guy who is obviously super wealthy as well and she thinks couldn't possibly understand anything that she went through but over the summertime they start to kind of connect and form the summer fling. Towards the end of it they kind of realize that it might not really end up going anywhere and in typical Colin Hoover fashion I'm definitely expecting this to be an emotional one but I'm not really sure what I think my rating is going to be for this book just because I've only read two Coho books before. One of them was It Ends With Us which I gave a one star rating Rating, and the other one was Verity which I gave five stars so I still don't really know how I feel about Coho's writing and I'm gonna kind of use this book to figure out how I really feel about her as an author so as of right now I'm gonna go ahead and give my predicted rating as solid three stars right in the middle but I'm very excited to read this because it's a beach town romance but is also probably gonna explore some deeper themes but now moving on to some literary fiction the next book that I have is something that is on literally everyone's summer book recommendations and it is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So this book is a split POV book that follows the Riva family who lives in Malibu and every single year throws an end of summer party and this book kind of follows the events of the night of that party and that's really all I know about it. Again I was trying to avoid some spoilers but from what I've heard this book is very entertaining and has a lot of drama in it so I'm very excited to read it. I have already read two of Taylor Jenkins Reid's other books. So far I really liked them so I have pretty high hopes for this one especially since so many people like it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and predict that my rating for this is gonna be five stars. Hopefully it lives up to the hype and hopefully I like it. So very excited to read this one. And then moving on I'm going to be reading Nora Goes Off Script by Annabelle Monaghan. Again, Monaghan? I don't know if I'm saying that right. This book follows a romance screenwriter who kind of knows romance better than anyone but then her husband ends up leaving her and her kids and she decides to turn her marriage's collapse into a new screenplay and she ends up casting this super handsome and well-known actor to play the role of her ex-husband. After shooting raps he ends up showing up on her doorstep and wants to stay with her for a week which she says yes to. Over the course of seven days they slowly start to get closer and you kind of have to figure out whether or not their relationship is going to end up with them falling in love 
or end up with them breaking up. This is definitely the smallest book on my TBR this summer, so I think this one is going to be a pretty quick and easy read. Honestly, from the summary, there aren't really any plot points or themes that I'm like super excited to read or learn about, but I think it's just going to be a quick and fun, easy read. So I think my rating is probably going to be a three stars, which doesn't mean I particularly love it or hate it. It's kind of right there in the middle. So I am definitely excited to start this and probably throw it in the middle of my more dramatic books so that I can kind of break up the tension a little bit. Going on to the next book, which is also a new release, I have My Magnolia Summer by Victoria Benton Frank. This is also a book that I don't know too much about just because it is actually a brand new release and I haven't seen anyone talk about it yet. I'm not gonna lie, I was very drawn by the cover of this. It's basically about this woman who grew up in South Carolina and has very strong southern roots, but she ends up moving to New York City, which is very different from her hometown. At some point while she's living in the city though, she gets a call from a sister that her grandma had actually been in a car accident and she goes back to her hometown only to find that there are a lot of other things that are also going pretty wrong. But while she's back home, she's kind of trying to piece her family back together and also starts to discover herself kind of leaning back into her southern roots. I think that this is going to be a really cute summer read, especially because it's going to kind of be like that southern summer vibe, which is something that for some reason I've really been wanting to read lately. And I think it'll be nice because while a lot of the books that are on my summer TBR list are kind of like the bubbly fun summer romance, I think this will have that summer feel while also kind of just exploring this individual character and learning more about her life. This is definitely something that's a little different from anything that I've ever read before. So I'm very excited to get through this and I think I'm probably going to rate this like a four or five stars. Hopefully. It is really nice that I haven't seen anyone else talk about it because I'm kind of going into it with no expectations. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So moving back into romance, the next book that I have is another very popular one and it is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This one follows a main character who is kind of well known as a wild child and party girl, but one night a party ends up sending her to jail and her stepfather ends up getting pretty fed up with her and sends her to a small port town in Washington State where he wants her to help run his dive bar. And while she is there, she meets this super broody, grumpy fisherman who is pretty much the opposite of any of the guys she knew in Beverly Hills. And while she's there, she kind of wants to prove to both her stepfather and the grumpy fisherman that she is more than just a pretty face and there's more to her. So throughout the book, we're kind of looking at her character development as well as the growing relationship between her and the fisherman. And from what I've heard, this is definitely one of the more popular grumpy sunshine romances, which surprisingly isn't something that I've really read before. I've had previous books that kind of explored that trope, but I've never had one that really perfectly embodies it. So I am definitely excited to read this. I think I'm probably going to end up giving it a solid three and a half stars just because I think I'll enjoy reading it, but I don't think it's something that's probably really going to stick with me. Maybe it will change my mind, especially because I know this one's super popular, but I'm very excited to add this to my list. And the next book that I got is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. And it's about this girl whose sister is going to be having a wedding in Spain and everyone expects to meet her American boyfriend who she's been talking about non-stop but who actually doesn't exist so now she has to find a guy who is willing to be her date to the wedding as well as pretend to be her boyfriend that she's been talking about for forever she ends up choosing one of her work colleagues from new york who she actually can't stand and really didn't want to bring with her but he kind of seemed like the only option so she ends up learning that there's actually more to him than she thought and he isn't as terrible as she always believed this one definitely gave me people we meet in vacation vibes it's kind of that enemy to lovers while on vacation slash going to a wedding theme so I'm very excited to read this one. I think I'll probably give this one a solid four stars just because it already does seem really interesting to me so I'm very excited to get into this one. And now moving on to my 10th and final book that I have on my summer TBR, I definitely saved the best for last. And that is Happy Place by Emily Henry, which is her newest release. Emily Henry has easily become one of my favorite romance authors, if not favorite authors of all time. And when I found out she was releasing another book, I immediately pre-ordered it and I was actually able to snag myself a signed copy. So I think I'll be reading this one on my Kindle just so I don't 
mess up the book in any way but this book follows a main character and her friends who every single year goes to one of their beach houses and spends a couple of weeks together they are this super close-knit friend group which includes three couples one of them being the main character and her fiance but what the rest of the group doesn't know is that her and her fiance actually split up a few months ago but still haven't told them and they end up getting stuck together on this trip and get too scared to tell anyone else about it just because they don't want to ruin the trip or split the group up so throughout the week they kind of have to pretend that they're still in love and still together and hope that no one else catches on i am very excited because while most of her other books are kind of dedicated to just focusing on one couple, this one surrounds a friend group, which I think is going to be really cute, especially since they're all going on a vacation together to a beach house. I definitely think I'm going to give this one five stars just because that's pretty much what I've given every other book by her. So I have very high expectations and high hopes for this, and I am so, so excited to read this. I think I'll actually be starting with this one today. But anyways, that is everything on my TBR for the summer. I'm sure a lot of these books you guys have read already but hopefully there's a couple of books on there that you haven't read yet and that you can pick up for yourself to read over the summer. I am super excited to get through all of them and again I will be leaving all my ratings on Goodreads in real time so if you want to follow along and check that out you can go ahead and click the link in the description box below. But other than that, I will probably check in with you guys at the end of the summer and do a summer reading wrap up. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I can't wait to dive into these and I will see you all next time. Bye.